Hey everybody, it's Pastor Hugo. Thanks for uh, checking in with the Chosen video this week. I am retreating uh, since Sunday afternoon. I, I do this every year, a little before Easter, where I spend some time alone a few days and try to get all the sermons written from Palm Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil, Easter Sunrise, Easter Day, and try to get all that done. And so I've been uh, spending a lot of time in solitude, and solitude's good. Uh, I, I you know, turn off my phone, turn off the internet, and just just me and God's word and whatever it is that God is going to give me for these sermons this week. So solitude, solitude's good, but we also need relationship. We need friends. And I love the readings for this week from the verse of the week, John 15, Jesus telling his disciples, I haven't called you servants. Servants don't know their master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. Jesus calls us friends. Jesus is our friend. You know, friends are those people that we really need. You know, when things are bad, we want we want them around. We want to talk to them. And when things are good, we want to tell them what's going on that's good. We need those friendships. There's a scene in our reading for the week from Mark chapter 2 that is chaotic, even dangerous. Four guys have a paralyzed friend, and they bring him to Jesus. Jesus is at home in Capernaum. And he's attracted so much of a crowd that people are crowding around the front of his house. They can't get to Jesus, so they climb up on the roof, make a hole in the roof, and lower their friend to Jesus. They knew Jesus could help their friend. And there's an interesting phrase in that reading. It says, when Jesus saw their faith, he saw their faith, and then he healed and forgave their friend. Our faith is a benefit to other people. Jesus uses our faith to benefit our friends. I want you to think about that. Just like that paralytic in the story who benefited from the faith, the friend's faith in Jesus, our faith in Jesus benefits our friends. Give that one some time to, to think about and pray about this week, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it more in the days ahead. God's blessing on your week. Bye-bye.